Greetings and salutations everyone. Welcome back to my tutorials. My name is Ariel Alex. This time we're going to go through easy sky replacement with your drone photography. Now we have the opportunity in Photoshop to do some very easy sky replacement. First things first, let's take away this and let's start with our original image. So with this particular uh, photo I have here of the lovely Algarve, we do have a beautiful scenery but sadly we have our sky missing or blown out. So what we'll do is, now that we have our uh, layer here with our photo, what's super handy, we can go to edit and then we can go down to sky replacement. It's almost as easy as that. However, what we can do is when it comes to this particular feature here, we can start to go into the final controls around how this works. How you would see and how you would start off with, you can go to import skies and you can get it either from images of your own or from some sky assets. And we get that by going to get more skies. You'll be greeted with this website. If you scroll a bit further down, you can download the presets to all variety of photos. But what we can do is once we've hit download, we can then import said presets into this window here by clicking on this cog, import sky, and then from presets. That will load up your finder or whatever you use to look for your files and you can import them from here. I've done that already. What's quite nice about it is I can go through and just cycle through all the photos that suits my fancy. What I'm looking for is something that belongs in the photo, something that isn't too unrealistic, something that is nice and natural. So the one that I've chosen is this one. This is Sunset Sky 007. Very fitting. So now that we have the sky that we want, we can start making some finer adjustments and some tweaks. As we go through these different adjustments, we can kind of change a lot of stuff. Now, this is going to help sell the shot. This is going to help blend in the shift edge of the photo that's overlaying. What we can see here is if we click on the actual sky, we can actually move it around. It's pretty accurate, to be fair. It's not just a one-click solution. Sometimes you do have to tweak, and we can go through various things like our brightness, and we can go through our temperature if need be, just so we can really blend and match the shots well. What's really cool is if you look under the color adjustment, depending on what you set your sky to be, if you notice that once I start playing with the color adjustment here, depending on what color the sky is, it will also blend and affect what else is in the photo. In this case, all of this here. So we've got some really nice contrasty shadows, but we're kind of also getting the nice warmth of the sky, those reds and those blues and those oranges, and it's affecting the rest of the picture, which is pretty cool. And we can preview on and off to really see the differences. That's pretty much it. And it works with a whole variety of things too. So for example, with this shot, but the sky is pretty boring. And that's just what we had on the day. No amount of ND filters or any other kind of trickery in the camera could fix that. So we bring things into Photoshop and we can do the sky replacement in the exact same way. Not bad, it's pretty cool. And that is it. It's pretty simple. Your best way for easy sky replacement for your drone photos. Thank you for watching. My name is Ariel Alex. Feel free to like and subscribe. That would be fantastic. And any edits that you do, I would love to see your before and after sky replacements with all your drone photos or any other photos that you have. Feel free to tag me on Instagram at Alex P. Sherman, and I'll be very interested to see what you do. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye for now.